Greetings, this is Gintian. We are starting off today on the Kingdom Chronicles server, which is currently running Minecraft version 1.14. I am standing in my spawn hut, and I gotta tell you, today is gonna be some grinding. Hey, you. You still there? Good. Greetings, this is Gintian, and I want to help you master Minecraft so you can enjoy watching and playing Minecraft anywhere. If you remember my last episode, then you might notice that this one starts off differently. For one, I have armor. I have been doing some mining off camera, and it has gone reasonably well with some deaths and some success, but we still need more. I said we were gonna grind, and I'm gonna start off with a 20 minute mining session. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you know when I produce videos. These doors aren't random. I actually put them here to help me find my way back out. For any of you that missed it last time, let me go over what the Kingdom Chronicles is all about. This is our map of the world. This is the spawn area where we currently are. It's shown in the white color. And each of the players have their own kingdom. The idea is we are all kings. Each of the player represents a kingdom and a sovereign nation and we plan to act as such. This can lead to fun things like possibly wars or skirmishes. We're still working out what that will look like, I think. As well as other shenanigans, as you would might expect on any by any group of people having fun playing Minecraft. So I am greatly looking forward to this season as we continue to play on. Now let's go back and see what I got accomplished in that 20 minute mining session. Welcome back. It's actually been longer it has been at least two mining sessions. I have collected a lot of resources and managed not to die. Now I'm going to go over real quick and use the anvil that Roscoe set up to repair my pick and then I'll decide what to do next. The cool thing is you place the item that needs repair on the What's it called? Anvil. Place it on the anvil, then add the repair item. So you're adding iron for an iron sword. And presto, you have repaired your pick. So now, one of the things I got during all that mining was enough diamonds to make a diamond pick and a diamond shovel. And I want to enchant those. And in order to enchant those, I need levels. So let's go kill pigmen. Now briefly, how this pig grinder works is you go outside and attack a pigment. Run back inside, get down into these grooves, and start whacking the pigment, collecting all of the experience points as you go. We're not going to stay and watch this, and you certainly don't want to hear it, so we'll be back in a moment. And we're back. I have already enchanted the pick that I had, the diamond pick, and I'll show you that in a minute. After finishing up that enchanting, I still have 30 level, 31 levels. So 
Now what I want to do is enchant this shovel. I just finished enchanting this pick and what I got for 30 levels was efficiency 4, unbreaking 3, which is absolutely fantastic. Now I need to check to the shovel. So what I'm going to do is I'll get the lapis out and we'll put it into the enchanting table and then we'll see what we get for the shovel. Unbreaking 3, that's a good sign. Unbreaking 3, efficiency 3. Not bad shovel. Not a bad shovel at all. I could certainly deal with that. Okay, now that that's done, I have something I need to show you. Follow me. Autobahn 26's hut. Do not touch my stuff or I will kill you. I added a sign saying I borrowed three iron under penalty of death payment inside. Here I left. I was desperate and borrowed three iron. Thanks, Gynthian. I left her two golden apples, six lanterns, some roses, more apples, and the three iron that I borrowed. So we will see what she thinks of that. Meanwhile, I need to go get wood. I have run out again, and I need to make sure that I get more wood. Oh, crap. And there we have it. I've left a whole crater. I can't just leave that. I got to clean that up. And that's not going to be enough dirt to do it. Let me go ahead and be right back and I will bring some dirt. Okay, I am back with the dirt. And now I can fill this in. And once I have filled it in, the grass will grow back over it. And all of this can be fixed. And I should leave a note. Creeper spelling creeper blew up the path started repairing G. There we go. Now back to what I was doing. I want to go over here where I know someone has planted a bunch of trees all in a row and that way I can harvest them and where are they okay I went and got a new iron axe a new iron shovel and some shears there's something I want to do before I go to the trees I just have to shear the sheep because I don't know how easy it will be to get wool in the future I don't like the fact that it's pink, I can always dye it. Also, you can use wool to make carpet, which for those that don't know, you can put carpet on top of a fence, and that will allow you to hop over the fence, but the mobs can't hop over the fence. Look at the horse somebody has. I really need to get a horse. Maybe somebody can sell me a horse. And here are the trees. All in a row. I don't know who set this up, but I am so glad that they did. I will harvest the trees, collect the saplings, and then go about replanting them so that the next person can use them. Okay, I had to stop because my iron pickaxe broke. All I gotta do now is make a new one. And then I'm going to go collect all of this stuff that's been lying around from the leaves deep 
despawning, is that the right word? And I'm gonna kill this cow. Now, back to it. It's gotten dark. I decided I better turn the sound for hostile mobs back on. Damn, that's close. Where is that coming from? Uh oh. No, this is not going well. Run away! I'm running, I don't want to get killed, I don't want to turn around to see if anything's following me. I think I'm just going to keep running and maybe not talk so much. Through the door. Wow, if anything had been following me, I was kind of slow shutting that door. And now that everyone is questioning my manhood, let's just chalk it up to bad PvP skills or PVM for player versus mob. Either way, I've died too many times on this server already. What you think? Think I can go collect those trees? Okay, let's go. We can go up there, grab the trees, I should say seedlings, and then get back. Maybe plant them. But that's all depends on whether I can get there without running into a whole bunch of mobs. There's the trees. There's a skeleton there. I'm gonna rush him. And by rush him, I mean hurry up over there and kill him. That worked. No. Oh crap. There's a baby zombie too. Oh, and another zombie. How do I sprint? I don't remember. What key is it? Okay, now I am certain that something is chasing me. I can't stop to turn around. Let's just get through the door as quickly as possible. And I've. Where is it? I've turned the wrong way again. And another skeleton. Be calm and meditate while running. Okay, close. Gotta get through the door. I am being chased. Slam the door, slam the door. And there is a baby zombie throwing itself against the door. And it died. It died throwing itself against the door. What a night. I am staying inside. I am not going back out there. I'll have to wait till daylight to see if I can replant that line of trees. So for that now, I'm for now I'm signing off. I'll be back in a moment. Well, I'm back. And it is raining. Before it was raining, I did manage to plant those trees. Lots of thunder, not what I anticipated. I was hoping for a sunny day. And that just didn't happen. One of the things I did was I got a shield so that I won't die quite so often. That's all I have time for this week and I will see you on the next Kingdom Chronicles. Thank you for watching and goodbye. I do love absolutely listening to the rain. What happened?
Well, how about that? 